Eating insects could help fight world hunger. So why don't Americans eat bugs? Two billion people worldwide regularly eat bugs. That's more than a quarter of the entire population of Earth. And while there are a certain amount of insect parts legally allowed in our processed foods, not many Americans are eating them on purpose. But a handful of people are trying to change that, including Jared Golden. His company, Entomo Farms, started selling insects for human consumption after the UN released a paper on the individual and global benefits of eating bugs. They sell things like cricket protein powder and flour, whole roasted crickets, and even seasoned cricket snacks. So to produce the same amount of protein, crickets take way less water than it does to produce that protein from beef, much less land. And there's a lot less methane gas produced from the crickets than other traditional forms of livestock. Pound for pound, crickets have almost twice as much protein as beef, and some edible insects have even more. There is a way for us to provide our population with a safe and eventually cost-effective method of getting protein. And protein is key. By 2050, there will be 9 billion hungry mouths on Earth, and the already high demand for livestock products is expected to double from what it was 20 years ago. But not only is beef expensive, cows couldn't care less about the environment. Manure contaminates water supplies and emits ammonia that harms ecosystems. And 70% of previously forested land in the Amazon is now pasture. Bugs don't contaminate or require nearly as much water or use that much land. So what's the problem? Americans don't eat bugs because Americans don't eat bugs. Do you like lobster? I do. I, I love lobster. Years ago, that was the garbage, the cockroaches of the ocean. And all of a sudden now, it is phenomenal food. The key to transforming lobster into a luxury food was rebranding it. So who says insects are any different? We tried to change minds on a smaller scale by feeding crickets to our team. So we got our hands on some of these bags of cricket powder. We're gonna add it to muffins and pancakes, see how that tastes. See if this really is a superfood. How many crickets are in the bag? I think one of these small bags is about a thousand crickets. A thousand crickets? Yeah. For four ounces? Yeah. That's a lot of crickets. I'm just trying to figure out which one is the least gross. They're all food. They're all like edible pieces of food. People around the world eat crickets all the time. We're gonna say that to me. <laughs> which makes me look like such a terrible American. I've actually eaten a lot of bugs, whether it was like traveling, we tried out this entire tasting menu and every single dish had a bug from ants to like giant um, Japanese hornets. We don't ever see a day that insect protein will completely replace meat protein. That's not the goal here. The goal is to give people a choice that is healthy and nutritious as well as sustainable.